Hello and welcome to this video exploring why a company should think about design for repair by customers and why the adoption of this approach will grow further in the future. The design of product is, of course, mainly made for its function, for a competitive price, but usually not for repair. If you send a product back to the factory for the company, it's often easier and cheaper to send back a new product than to repair it. But there is an increasing number of people are becoming more aware of the possibilities of repair and who want to make a change. After buying a product, they want to keep it in use as long as possible. To support this idea, which is similar to the principle of reuse, the replacement of failed or damaged parts is needed. Often the professional service aspect is too expensive and because of the design, the repair of the product is not economically. At the same time, it is increasingly attractive to save time, money and resources, which corresponds to the modern desire to reduce waste. And for many people, it's just fun to repair their own things. It may give you a sense of empowerment. For people who aren't technically confident, repair cafes are being established all over the world, where, for example, volunteer professionals show and help others how to repair products. And then there are many online instructional videos showing how to repair things. One of the largest and more well-known websites is ifixit.com. David will present to you the platform and vision of iFixit. It is interesting to consider at this point as to what engineering design has to do with the growing approach of customers repairing their own things. An engineering design company can profit by adjusting the products in this growing part of the market, including facilitating access to the availability of spare parts and clear and simple documentation. A further key point for a design for repair approach, which allows the repair to be done by the customers themselves, is the simplicity of the design. Keep it easy to open and combine complex parts into modules so they can be replaced by customers and remanufactured by your company afterwards. The simplicity of the product itself can be self-evident. For example, symbols on the joining elements are easy to see and understand. As a fascinating example where these points are implemented, we take a look at the Fairphone, which has the best rating by iFixit. Importantly, their spare parts are available for a long time after product purchase. To close, we have a final thought. Many people think that limits to the design for repair by customers are primarily safety and warranty related. Right now, in many cases, they may be right. But we think it's time to think about solutions to wider global materials and energy challenges, and not about the limits. The repair movement has a super role to play, and the times, well, they are changing.